The method of standard additions, also known as MSA or SA to denote standard addition, is normally used on two occasions. To characterize a solid waste sample as a hazardous waste by toxicity characterization, or when the matrix spike or dilution is not recovered properly and the laboratory prefers not to qualify the data and provide a more accurate result. The standard addition technique involves adding known amounts of standard to one or more aliquots of the process sample solution, compensating for a sample constituent that enhances or depresses the analyte signal. For multipoint, the absorbance of each solution is determined and then plotted on the vertical axis of a graph, with the concentrations of the known standards plotted on the horizontal axis. When the resulting line is extrapolated to zero absorbance, the point of interception of the abscissa, which is the horizontal coordinate of a point in the plane obtained by measuring parallel to the x-axis, is the endogenous concentration of the analyte in the sample. The abscissa on the left of the ordinate is scaled the same as on the right side, but in the opposite direction from the ordinate. In other words, the MSA is a linear calibration curve generated by adding half of the sample amount to each standard and blank. The curve will have an elevated slope due to the addition of the sample to each standard and blank. So in plotting the curve, the x-intercept will be on the negative side, but equivalent to the actual sample amount multiplied by two since it was halved. This is the MSA plot from the SW846 manual, which shows the elevated slope and at the x-intercept is the concentration of the sample, which will be a negative number at half of the actual sample concentration. A linear regression program may be used to obtain the intercept concentration, y equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope, b equals y-intercept. Again, the true value is actually two times the absolute value of negative b. Here is an example of an Excel spreadsheet from a non-commercial laboratory used for samples analyzed by MSA. They have placed the intensity counts on the horizontal axis and the concentration on the vertical axis, but the final result is still the same since the line will intercept at the vertical axis where the concentration is. For this example, it was negative 2.83 or calculated as 5.67. They have also included the criteria specified in the SW846 applicable methods of meeting less than 20% RSD from the slope of the original calibration curve using the same standards and the calculation for concentration. There are limitations to the method of standard additions. One, it must be linear over the concentration range of concern. As previously stated, the slope of the MSA plot should be less than 20% difference from the original standard curve. Two, the effect of the interference should not vary as the ratio of analyte concentration to sample matrix changes, and the standard addition should respond in a similar manner as the analyte. And three, the instrument must be appropriately set up to be free of spectral interference and corrected for nonspecific background interference. A benefit of running MSA is when matrix effects appear or are to be expected and matrix matched calibration samples are not available. Then the laboratory has an option of running the standard addition method, SAM. Some of the cons in running an MSA are, one, it is time consuming to perform a full calibration for one sample. Two, it will not correct for additive interferences which cause a baseline shift. And three, inaccuracies in preparing the spike sample can seriously affect the slope of the line, causing errors to be made in determining the original concentration.